For its first ever entrance into the Bluetooth speaker market, BenQ set out to create something that would really stand out. And although this looks like a lot of other classy speakers in the genre, it's got some unique features that make it different than anything else we've seen before. These rectangular wings at the side are actually electrostatic drivers, normally reserved for audiophile gear. The thin membrane allows them to be extremely fast and very accurate. As you might expect, these electrostats are not known for their bass response, so BenQ has supplemented them with dual 2.5 inch dynamic drivers at the front and dual 2.5 inch by 4 inch passive drivers at the sides. At the top are basic controls here. You've got your power key, play pause, volume, which actually mute as well. Then there's a mode key here that lets you cycle through three different EQ settings. There's a bassy setting, a flat setting, and then one for more presence in the mid-range. These buttons also answer and end phone calls from the onboard microphone. At the back panel here, we see a Bluetooth pairing button. And then at the bottom are basic inputs. You've got your charging port here. You've got your 3.5 millimeter line out and line in. And then a micro USB that's actually a digital input so you can bypass the DAC from your source device. As we expected, the sound is brilliantly clear, especially in the top end. It's able to expose things like a cymbal crash or a vocal attack more than we expect from a Bluetooth speaker. The low end and the mid range are also very well balanced. However, one problem with the speaker is it just doesn't get loud enough. It appears that BenQ has added some DSP compression that pushes down the sound anytime the speaker gets loud enough to the point at which it might expose those electrostats to some distortion. For discerning listeners, they'll really enjoy the Trevolo, but those looking for a speaker that'll blast sound throughout the room will want to look elsewhere.